Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video, we will learn a technique for creating a realistic wine glass using a spline and a lathe modifier. First, we need to change the unit setup to centimeters. So we'll go to Customize, Unit Setup. Here in Display Unit Scale, we're going to select Metric, Centimeters, then OK. Let's turn on Etched Faces in the Perspective Viewport. We can press F4 on the keyboard or just right click Realistic and choose Etched Faces. We're going to do the same in the Front Viewport. Just right click on Wireframe, choose Shaded and Etched Faces. This will enable us to see all the subdivisions in our objects. We're going to create a plane first. So let's go over to the Create Panel, Geometry, Plane. We're just going to drag out a plane in our front viewport. Don't worry about the size, we're going to fix that now. We'll go over to the Modify panel and in Length, type in 16. Width, type in 7. The segments and width segments, we're going to leave at 4. Now let's just press Z on the keyboard to zoom in. Select the, the Select the Move tool and we're going to go down here to the bottom dials and just right click to bring them back to 0. We'll zoom in again. We're going to use the plane as a reference object to draw out the exact size and shape of the glass. But before we do that, I'm going to change the colour. Let's put it a darker colour so we can see the line on it. And the segments. We'll press Alt W on the keyboard. And now we're going to work in the front viewport. Now we can go over to the Create panel, Shapes, here in Splines, we can select the line and turn on Auto Grid. I also want to change the colour of the line so it will be easier to see for this video. Just click here on the colour slot. I want to create a white line and turn off Assign Random Colours and then OK. We're going to draw out the outline of half a glass on the plane and then add the lathe modifier to it. We don't need to create a lot of vertices, but we do need to place them in the same position as this video. Let's start here at the bottom left corner. We'll click once to drop a vertex. We'll just bring the mouse over to the center, holding the shift key down to create a straight line. Click again. We're going to bring it up slightly. We'll click once more. We'll bring it over. Click once more. Now we're going to create the stem. Hold the shift key down, and we can just drag it straight up till it's just under half the size of the plane. Click once more. We'll drag it over to the side to about here. Click again and then here, right on the top. Hold the shift key down to create a straight line. We'll click once more and just finish creating our outline. Our last vertex has to be placed right here on the line. We'll right click to turn it off and now just click anywhere in the viewport to turn off the line. Let's go to the modify panel and we're going to choose the segment sub object mode and we're going to move this segment. We'll just bring it in slightly. We want a thin glass. Now we can go to the vertex mode. We're just going to zoom in. Select these two vertices, we're going to bring them up slightly. And now we're going to scroll down under Geometry and select the Fillet tool. When we hover over the vertex, the Fillet icon appears. We're just going to click on one vertex, drag them up. There we are. Now we've got these nice curved uh, edges. Let's select these two vertices and weld them together. We'll just go here to Geometry and press Weld. There we are, now we have one vertex. Let's carry on. Let's click on um, this vertex. We're going to turn off the Fillet tool. We're going to right click the vertex and choose Bezier. Now we might just have to zoom out a little bit. And now we're going to grab these little handles. Going to bring it down slightly so we get a nice curve. We're bringing this curve 
down and this one up slightly. Let me see that. There we are. Now let's do the vertices on the stem. We'll just click one, hold the control key down and we'll click the other one. Then we'll go over to geometry and select fill it. And we'll fill it these two at the same time. Just something like that. It's two nice curved edges. Go back and turn off the fillet tool. We might want to make the base of our glass a bit, a bit thinner. So we can just select these, bring them down. Then we'll select this vertex. We'll right click, select smooth. And then we're just going to move it slightly to get a nice shape. Something like that. See that nice curve? I think I'd like to make the stem slightly thinner. So I'm going to choose the segment mode and just push that in slightly. There we are. I think that should be all right now. Select vertex mode. We're going to select these two vertices. Right click and select smooth. Now we can just sort of move them to the side a little, maybe bring them up a little bit like this. Let's just zoom in. Click on one of them and we'll just bring that out slightly. Make sure there's no lines overlapping. There we are, I think that's it. I'm quite happy with that shape now. Click on line to turn off the sub-object mode. And now we'll apply the lathe modifier. Just scroll down here and find lathe. There we are. We can see it's been applied. Let's make a few adjustments here in the parameters. Turn on weld core. We can bring our segments up. Let's bring them up to something like 32. Now here in a line, let's press min. Okay, let's have a little look. We can delete the, um, the plane. We can still make some adjustments if we like. Let's go back over to the stack. Let's go back into the line. Let's turn off this show in result toggle. We'll select the vertex that we're wanting to move. Say that one. Let's go back and turn it on. Turn show in result. We'll turn that on. And now we can move it slightly. There we are. Turn it off. How's that? Now we have our ad average glass at 16 centimeters high and about six and a half centimeters wide. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.